hey guys welcome to another bundle blessing and today i'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step process on how to record and mix your song in band lab and this video is for those people that have been looking for a way to record and they don't have money to pay for studio sessions but you want to use your phone to record and get something good out of it this video is for you i'm going to teach you how to record using just a mobile phone in band lab and before i continue i'm going to play a song i recorded on band lab All right, so if you listen, you hear how creepy and how punchy the vocals are. In fact, I can convince you that I recorded that using normal studio equipment. So today, stay tuned as I take you through on how to record and mix your song using just your mobile phone on BandLab. The first step, get a beat that you can vibe with. It's very important. There are tons of beats everywhere. There are beats in YouTube, TikTok. You can get beats from so many sites right now. Now we get a beat you can vibe with. Go to BandLab, click on import file, and then click on video library. Because I recorded the video, I'm going to choose video library. If you downloaded the audio, you can choose browse file. So now click on choose, and then it will take you straight into BandLab Studio. And when you get to BandLab Studio, you can click on that plus button there and click on voice slash audio because we want to add our voice. Now, whenever you want to add your vocals, whenever you want to create a new channel, you're going to click on voice slash audio. Let's say after you finish recording the main vocals, if you want to add a back of vocals, you click on voice slash audio to create a new channel. But for us to start recording on the main channel that we've created, I'm going to click on that red button underneath. Let's go. All right, guys. So I'm done recording all the necessary vocals on this particular track. And this is the beat right here. And this is the vocals. This ones right here at the back of vocals now i'll just play the raw audio for you so you can hear how it sounds okay so now um this is how i mix first of all i go to the main vocals which is this i just double tap the channel and it will take me here now the next step i'm going to do now is i'm going to add auto pitch and which i'll click on the auto pitch and then i'm going to toggle it on and increase it to around three o'clock because i want it to correct my off notes that's one good thing i like about band lab auto tune and it will automatically help me find the key and which you can see right there and if it doesn't find the key for you you can click on auto detect key to help you find the right key on that project now the next step i'm going to do now is i'm going to add my presets and um, which i'll just click on fx and i'll add my preset the preset i have made and i'll click on this preset right here now if you want my presets um i want you to go to my instagram and send fire presets link to my instagram will be on the description of this video just send fire preset and i'll send you this preset for free i'll send you the link all right so i'll just click on this my preset and i'll go back now let's listen to how um the main vocal sounds like i'll mute the rest i'll mute the rest i'll mute the rest that's the backup vocals now let's just listen to how the main vocal sounds like it sounds amazing already so what i'll do is I'll just come here and increase the vocals a little bit. Now let's listen to how it sounds like. So it sounds amazing. So what I'll do is the next um, vocals here, I'll unmute it and also mix it. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll just go to auto pitch i'll add auto pitch and then for the fx i'm going to add this back of vocals angelic t it's right there in band lab if you want to look for it just go to the search box in there and look for angelic t you see it's right there in band lab so that's what i'll add and i'll do the same for all the back of vocals but let's just listen to how this sounds how this particular back of vocal sounds with the main vocals now if you notice i have already panned this back of vocals to the left hand side so you listen to the 
backup vocals more on the left hand side. Now let's listen to how it sounds like. Girl, I see my life is starting mm. All of I can feel the fire so you see, it's very easy, very, very simple. Alright, so for this other backup vocals, I'll just come here and unmute it. Now I'm going to mix it. Now what I'll do is I'll go click it and come here and add auto pitch. And the preset I'm going to add is still that um, angelic T. Or I'm going to add this my preset, my backup vocal preset on this one. If you still want it, just go to Instagram and send a message. Send me fire presets and I'll send it to you for free. So now let's listen to how it sounds like. Um, I will omit this one too. So what I did is, this particular um, vocals here, I duplicated it, so I sang them twice, but they are the same. Let me just mute them so you hear what I'm talking about. So you see, they are the same. So what I did is, I panned one to the left and panned one to the right, so you can listen to them both sides. And then, let me just show you how it sounds like with the beat. I'm going to unmute this. Now let's listen to how it sounds like. So you see how interesting it is. It is very, very simple to mix on band lab. Now, this last backup vocals i'm going to unmute this last backup vocals and i'll do the same i'll add auto pitch and then i'm going to add this preset called angelic t this backup is more like an ambient type of vocal um chops there let me just play it alone so you listen to how it sounds like Alright, so I'm going to play them all together. I'm going to play them all together. Now, this is how they sound all together. so that's how easy it is to record and mix on band lab it's actually very very simple and um you can see how my settings are here i made sure that my voice is on top of the beat but at the same time not too loud um for the mastering presets i use natural but you can use clarity clarity is very good it's free all right so uh, for the master volume this is where my volume is right here and you see it's not distorting <laughs> Alright, so that's all. And if you have any question, don't forget to ask me in the comment section. I'll be there to answer you. See you next time.